So for today's video, I wanted to do a first listen of Mama Moo's new album, White Wind. So I did order this album. It didn't arrive yet because I ordered this album at the same time as BTS's new album, which will only be released on the 12th of April. But in the meantime, I wanted to do a first listen because I did it to Moon, Red Moon, which is right here, and I wanted to do it for this album as well. I did really like Go Go Baby, you can go in the description down below to see my reaction to the MV and so for that reason I do think that this album might be a really really good one. So without further ado let's listen to the first song. The first song is Where Are You and I have the lyric version of the song so let's listen to it. It's quite different from them, their main track, Coco Baby. I really like the very chill vibe they added to this song. And one thing that I really like about Mamamoo is the fact that their albums Every single track goes really well with the other one, but their concepts and their styles are completely different from one another. And you can see the, the very individual personalities of every single member through every single song of the mini albums and albums. It's so laid back. I really like this chorus, it's really laid back, but at the same time, it's so catchy. Okay, love when just rap. I really like this pre chorus. The, the chorus. I think this song could be a K drama song. It's so chill. Especially this part. So that was it for the first song of the album, Where Are You? And I do think that this song is so laid back and it's more of the popish song um, compared to Go Go Baby. It's a much different vibe. But yet again, they show their versatility in the types of songs that it can do. I do really like it. It's not one of my favorite songs from Mamamoo, but it's definitely one of the better songs that they have. Knowing that Mamamoo has a, an amazing repertoire, I I'm expecting quite a lot and this one does not disappoint. I do really enjoy it. I do enjoy their vocals. I do like the rap and I love how catchy and laid back the chorus is. Let's move on to the second one. The second one is Go Go Baby. I already did a reaction to it. You can go in the description down below and watch it. But before you do, let's continue with the third song which is Wagi. Now. Ooh. Completely different vibe from the two previous ones. Why not sing in French? Such a fresh song. I 
like the play on words they do because ke in Korean is dog. So you have the barks in the backing track. So I do really like the joke on that. Um, and I do really like how subtle their vocals are. They are really like whispering it. There's a lot of air in their vocals. So they are taking it lightly as the song is very light as well. completely different from the rest of the song but it fits so well and let's go back to it Sounding. Loved it. It's such compared to the other two, this one takes a completely different route and it goes for the more refreshing um doesn't care vibe and it goes really well with the Paris vibe as well as the spring. It, all of those words that they use in the lyrics fit really well with the vibe of the song and how the melody just makes you want to relax and listen to it and enjoy the song. So overall, really love it. It's one of my favorites so far. And yeah, let's continue with 25 song Pai Wein of Mamamoo. It's a solo song in this album. Let's listen to it. Before we start, I must admit, Ween's style overall is one of my favorites when it comes to Mamamoo as a group. She has a very unique personality and whenever she sings a song, that being as a solo or as part of the, the group, she has, her, she has her unique touch to song. The other members do it as well, but hers looks more like something that an indie artist would do and I do really like it. The bass and her vocals go so well together. I really like this type of groove. the lyrics as well. It's really laid back and I really really like it. Oh, Jordan, I'm covering 
This pre chorus is amazing. So chill and laid back, but at the same time she's talking about her own personal story and how being 25 changed her. I really like the, the, um, the melody the guitar is playing. Especially in the very beginning, it sounds like it it adds a little bit of echo and adds to the depth of the song. See here. Hmm. So for this song, I do really think that she is showcasing her own personal point of view at her age and as a part of Mamamoo in her life. Um, I do think that she is expressing her own style throughout this song and um, expressing how she's feeling as she reached this point in her life. When it comes to the song, I do think um, it is very chill and laid back, which goes really well her, with her own personality, even though she is very, um, let's say, fun. On variety shows, I do think she's a, one of the shy ones as well. She puts on a facade mostly um, to be fun and to deal with the stress of going live. Perhaps I'm completely wrong, but that's the sense I have on of her. And every single time that she releases a song, her own songs as a solo, she tends to go more for the chill, laid back, a lot more, a lot like an indie artist would do and I love it. What did you think about it? Leave it in the comments below. Next up we have Bad Bye and I do think that this one might be some kind of strong powerful ballad. I'm not quite sure so let's just listen to it. Sorry about the reflect of the lights on my glasses. Can't do anything about it. Might not be completely wrong though. Very powerful song. Uh, There's a change in the vibe of the song, the emotion. I really like the raspiness in Wasa's voice. It makes you feel all the more, the much more of the emotion. I 
all his voice is just so good. Mm -hmm. I really like the multiple layers of vocals on top of it. And the ad libs. This song could be a K-drama song as well. So, I was right in one thing, it was the very powerful vocals ballad that was this song and I freaking love it. I must say with much confidence that this one is definitely one of my favourite songs of this album and one of my favourite Mamma Mia songs so far. I freaking love it. There's everything you want from Mamma Mia. Powerful vocals, emotion, the rap. It's such an amazing rap and the story they were telling you can feel it in the, the emotion on their voices and not so much is that something that you just feel the emotion because you're reading the translation of the lyrics but it is something that you sort of feel as you are listening to the song next up we have my star i don't know about this one i don't like let, let's make a guess mostly they have like one powerful ballad in per mini album so I don't think this one will be another ballad but let's see not a ballad <laughs> yet another song that goes in a completely different direction as the previous ones <laughs> this is just before the breakup or just after the breakup with not just after, but with other people. Ooh. I love this pre chorus and the crescendo. crescendo. Silence. Very powerful chorus. Twenty-two December. Let's work up the nice guy. We like how they can put like Korean and English in such an easy manner. I really like this pre chorus. The raspiness in Wasa's voice is so good. I think his chorus is higher for the two other members, so I lean. So for her, she has to push a little bit more, but it's a healthy memory of raspiness. Ooh. 
ad libs. ending yet again another very powerful vocal song and the rap parts are so good like honestly i still prefer the previous song like i love my strong balance but this one is not far away from that one it's so powerful and they go all out it's a completely different emotion and the way they execute the song is completely different as well but that being said, you can still feel the same amount of emotion going through as they are singing it. And the very song structure is so different from the previous ones. I'm just always so blown away by the fact that Mama Moon never really sticks to the same formula. They improve and try to do other things, even at the risk of not the fans not liking it as much because they are growing, they are, they are experimenting and showing different versions of themselves. Then we have, for the final song of this mini album, we have Four Season, which is the outro of the album, which means it's a shorter song to finish the album. So let's listen to it. Yet another completely different song from the other ones. I like how stripped down it and chill it is. I want a longer version of this song. Could listen to it all the time, so chill. And the vocals, the various layers of vocals are so good. So guys, that was it for my first listen of Mamu's new mini album, White Wind. Like I mentioned previously, I ordered the album. I will only receive it during the month of April. So I had to wait a little bit to do an unboxing, but I will do it as soon as I get it. Um, that being said, let's go back to the full length album. My favorite song of this album is Bad Bye. But overall, I do think that with this album, they are experimenting new styles and I freaking love all about it. Um, they are experimenting and knowing that every single member of Mamamoo is so different from the other, they are bringing their own touch to the album with different parts, even to the songs that you can sense their own personality being added to the different parts they are singing. And overall, the coherence of this album is brilliant. Freaking love how different songs how different the songs are from one another, but how complementary they are as well. And they are not trying to do the exactly the same thing that they are known for, and sort of find the formula that works and use it over and over again. They are trying to improve, to go beyond that experiment a lot more. And for that reason, I'm a really big fan of Mamamoo and I'm really proud of being a Mamamoo. As it comes to the album, I don't know if I should sort of build a great system, but I just think the production on this album is amazing. I don't know who wrote what, but I know that Mianbu tends to write her own raps. So I have to check that out. But overall, I give it a nine out of 10. I freaking love every single thing about it. It's one of those albums that I could listen to it on repeat the entire album and not get tired of it so guys tell me in the comments down below what did you think about this new mini album what's your favorite song who do you like the most out of mama moon members do you like all of them like i do i get you either way guys tell me in the comments down below what did you think what's your favorite song everything 
I would really want to know. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up if you want me to do an unboxing of uh, White Twins album once I get it. Give it a thumbs up as well, but tell me in the comments down below. And yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and all that, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! You wanna cook up the door.